So first is this presence, and then is in arising in this presence a sense of I amness. Here, I amness, something like this. And then I'm tired. Oh, I'm late. I am hungry. Uh, I'm not good enough. I'm happy. Then you build this sense of presence into a personality, an idea about yourself, idea about your friends, your partner, your children, the world, ideas. You build it. You co it is a construction. Everything is a. Everything is a mental construction, somehow. And the first mental construction is the sense of being that we call I. But this is also mental construction. And this you need to see. This is the most important to see. If you see through this I sense that this is also a concept, it's like a domino effect. They all tumble down that comes after this I sense. I'm this, I'm that, you are this, you are that. Me and you and this and that and that and that, that. It all tumbles down. So that there is this, this spaciousness that is undefined is your home. So the I sense, the beingness, the I amness, so so to speak, eh, is the first definition, is the first concept. Uh, I sometimes describe it like from here you take off into constructing the world and your life. So it is somehow a door from this first concept out here you construct a world. In here you go to no longer defined. Whatever it is that is not defined. So we may use as a pointer the word mystery. Cannot define it, cannot be known. And this is exactly my invitation to you to rest so deeply in this I sense that you that this concept is, is dissolving and, and you feel somehow transported into, I don't know. Huh? So here is all this knowing and understanding and our life experiences, ideas, definitions, comparisons, Conclusions in here, it's the same door, the stillness, changelessness, this. Nothing wrong with this. This is also fantastic. Very interesting, very exciting. But often it is held in restlessness and loneliness and suffering. As a, as a bottom, as, as somehow the bottom of all our life experiences. We always meet this helplessness, this restlessness, this loneliness. In here, all of that is stilled. The restlessness is stilled. The loneliness is stilled. The helplessness is stilled. The suffering is stilled. Peace. Peace is also a very good word. Peace. Uh, and this word peace we always project after death. May she rest in peace, may he rest in peace. I say do it now, rest in peace now, now. 
they have the opportunity to enjoy it, to enjoy peace, to live peace. So it's nothing wrong. People think always, oh, it's wrong. And I want to get rid of it. Not really. Nothing really changes. When you have base camp in order, this needs to change first. And then when you have base camp in order, you see that nothing really needs to change. It's very helpful if you have this in place. Just a good, strong foundation. Self-confidence, self-love. Do no longer resist it. I tell you again and again and again that awakening is dying. Awakening is dying. Dying to this sense of identity, of beingness. Yeah. So, of personality, of being a separate unit, you know, like you, Martijn, and I here. A separate unit. It's dying to that imagination. It is literally dying. And mo most of the time in liberation, you keep this. It can also physically die, but most of the time you keep this in this transition. And then this is a wonderful instrument to experience life. The wind. I feel the wind now. What an invention is that, by the way. Yeah, sublime. Uh, and to see and to feel and to laugh and to play and to eat and to be together. And, you know, to experience life. We're completely impersonal. That makes it so spacious, that makes it so rich. It's no longer confined in all these assumptions and definitions and identities and resistance and blip, blip, blip. Just open. So what dies is ignorance. Ignorance means that you ignore what is true. That is what is dying. Ignorance is dying. So, when you look deeper into death, you see it doesn't really exist. Somehow it's a concept. For the body and for this personality, in I sense, as long as you believe this to be true, death is true. When you see this I sense has never been, death is also no, tr no more true. So death belongs to this package of the adventure of this I sense. And when we look deeper, we see that death is uh, actually that death is dying. When you look deeper, you see that death is dying itself.
So this whole life is an adventure in time and space. Let's have a great adventure. Let's have a great, yummy adventure. Just full of love. Come on. Hmm. So this is an adventure in space and time. Let's make it super yummy. But this is only not our true identity. For freedom, you need to look through it all, behind it all, prior to it all, beyond it all. Clear seeing. You sense it somehow. Mm. Now this realization just needs to to touch you everywhere, every every fiber of your being. So Nisikadatta used to say he was looking forward to die, because somehow this body still has some confinement. Not really, but some. Mm. Especially he was very ill and very, had a lot of pain, so I must have looked forward to be released of this inconvenience. Yeah. So pain is part of life. It's, Mostly still an inconvenience. 